Okay, this is my Frieden EC-132 calculator. Uh, this debuted shortly after the original EC-130, considered by many to be the first solid-state electronic calculator. Uh, debuted in 1964 and cost $2,100 back then, which in 2014 dollars is worth uh, $16,000 worth of spending power. Uh, the 132 had the addition of one key square root and some additional uh, fixed decimal point locations here on this control. You can see that pretty much everything on this machine is expensive. Uh, the lower housing is completely cast, brushed aluminum. The upper housing is steel. The front cover is cast aluminum. And the rear is hinged and is uh, quite a large casting. It doubles as a heat sink for the power supply. You can also see in trying to keep this uh, footprint as, as short as possible, they had to stick the neck of the CRT out a couple of inches. Uh, one of the original design goals was that this calculator occupy a footprint no larger than an office typewriter. I don't know about you, but this is a little larger than a Selectric. The keyboard was modeled after um, mechanical 10 key adding machines at the time, so it has some pretty serious heft to it. Uh, it will automatically lock out during calculation to prevent inadvertent operation. Um, you do have decimal point input, so you can do floating decimal point. The keyboard will also lock out in case of an error. There you can see the overflow locks out. Press that to restore operation. The uh, previous function will pop back up. Another extremely interesting thing about this calculator is that it is all reverse Polish notation and Frieden did it before HP, even though HP is known for it these days. Um, in fact, I think Frieden was the first with it. So you enter your value followed by the function. If we want to subtract 5, 5 minus. If we want to add 10 to 507, we type in 10 and get 517. This calculator also has uh, a temporary storage. We can store the value 517. We can go about our other calculations. And if we want to recall that value, hit the recall button. Let's add it. And there's your new sum. You'll note there is a pilot light in the bottom right hand corner. I don't recall if the Model 130 has this or not. But this is there in case the machine were to get locked into a loop, in which case the CRT would not display any results and you wouldn't know the machine was on. Uh, for instance, if we tr tried to divide by zero, we're stuck in a loop, the display is totally dead, you wouldn't know the machine's running. When I first got this machine, it had actually been stored in an open garage for several years. Uh, it was covered in paint, it was pretty dirty, the cover was a little bit mangled, the front cast piece was in bad shape. Um, I ended up getting it back together pretty good. Uh, the high voltage was low on the CRT, and this is achieved through an interesting high voltage doubler circuit. Um, actually, it's a stack of doublers and the caps had drifted and there were a couple open diodes and to get the voltage they needed to drive this thing with the technology they had the diodes were working right about at their limit so I ended up replacing those and the, the capacitors and now we've got good stable high voltage. This machine does operate a little differently than today's calculators um, for example you can set a fixed decimal point using the thumb wheel here and you can see that move on the screen there is a timing bug with this model here, and I haven't tracked it down, and without the proper schematics, I doubt I ever will. 
but uh, depending on the function and what value I've set here, occasionally the decimal point ends up in the wrong spot, but it's still good enough for demonstration. So uh, let's let's go ahead and enter 2.56. I'll show you how this works. Two decimal point five six. You'll see the decimal point hasn't appeared until we strike a function or enter, and there it is. We can hit change sign to invert the value. There's also a repeat key here if we want to do an automatic constant function. You can see it carry through. Uh, something else I should mention that's kind of neat. You'll note there's a slant to the digits on the CRT, and this is all achieved with the addition of a single resistor. And it puts just enough of a bias on it to slant the traces um, as the CRT draws them. What's truly remarkable about this calculator is the internal design. It actually uses eight single-sided circuit boards grouped together in pairs, and then card edges fit into the base frame. Uh, for memory, it uses an acoustic delay line built into the bottom, so the entire machine is serial. In fact, the architecture of this calculator is dreamt up by a single man, uh, Robert Reagan, who worked at Frieden. Uh, and I urge you to, to Google more about the calculator and about that engineer. Um, it's truly an amazing design. Obviously for something this complex and this expensive, there were a lot of teething pains when it first came out. Uh, and you can imagine Frieden, who was known for their mechanical adding machines and other electromechanical equipment, had no real experience in the field with something like this. And, um, and repairs were extremely difficult. In fact, the schematics for these were never released to, to the public or to the technicians. Uh, word has it they were actually scrapped. These were huge wall size drawings that were updated by hand. And when there was an issue in the field, the service tech was advised to swap boards until the problem was resolved. Of course, not a lot of these calculators exist today. Uh, it was obsolete in pretty short order. It was big, it was heavy, it was expensive, reliability was not its strong suit, and even if you had the desk space, this machine here did not print to a tape. And so that there was another strike against it. You'll also notice four functions of square root. In only a couple of years, pocket calculators came out. HP 35 was early 70s, and you had full scientific functionality. By the mid 70s, you'd calculate around a chip. So. That pretty much drove a nail into the coffin of this thing. And there you have it. This is the EC-132.